Do you guys feel that? It's a certain type of vibe in the air this time of year. Christmas! No, it's leak season, baby. It looks like NVIDIA was hiding a secret budget card from us. What? Intel had yet another leak, and this time it was massive. The most important news of this week is, of course, the one and only 50 series. We have details on the 5070 Ti and its specs, so let's jump in to another week of news, but don't forget to like and subscribe. The RTX 40 series has been the subject of quite a bit of controversy when it comes to price. Even though they have the 4060 in their budget lineup, most can agree it's a bit pricey for the performance that you get. Well, it looks like Nvidia may be pushing out one last budget card before they drop the 50 series. I'm kidding, but this is definitely interesting. Let's take a look. Tom's Hardware says there's a budget GeForce GPU selling in China that not even Nvidia knew that it made. It's the RTX. 4010. Turns out to be a modified RTX A400 workstation GPU. This is an NVIDIA card with a fake ID. The video by Budget Builds Official shows off the graphics card that purports to be an RTX 4010. The seller told Budget Builds Official that the card came with no warranty as it was intended for OEMs. Card costs about 80 pounds. So what they got was a single slot, low profile GPU with a sleek black cooler that it had the NVIDIA logo on it. It's not typically what you'd expect with a weird China made graphics card that's not supposed to exist. GPU-Z didn't recognize the card, but said it had 768 shaders, four gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, bus width of 64 bits, memory bandwidth of 96 gigabytes a second, and PCIe 3, bad card for gaming. Probably not ideal. Oh no. Look at GTA. It's it's kind of crushing at GTA. I'm gonna be real, guys. Guys, is this a new contender for a GTA car? Counter Strike looks great on this. <laughs> It looks like Intel can't catch a break. All of 2024, they were dealing with microcode issues and a lackluster CPU launch until they finally dropped Battle Mage last week and the internet gave them a well-deserved pat on the back, which you can too by liking this video. But that W, oh, what the hell, Tanner, can't last forever because Intel just had their entire new CPU lineup leaked. This article on Tom's Hardware gives us all those juicy Gina Carano-ish details. Let's take a look. Entire Intel Core 200 laptop lineup leaks out. The leak includes retail ordering code suggesting the CPUs are already in the hands of OEMs as they ready their upcoming laptop. The Core 200 non-Ultra family will arrive as Raptor Lake refresh on budget laptops akin to current gen Core 100 offerings. Similarly, Core 200 Ultra CPUs get the latest Arrow Lake architecture divided across the H and HX suffixes. Intel knows their market pretty well with laptop lineups. And yes, they do have some OEMs that specialize in the gaming side of things, but for the most part, Intel's mobile products are not gaming laptops. Kind of the furthest thing from their mind, personally, when it comes to gaming. Battle Mage cards, I've heard of those. In fact, I just saw them today at metapcs.com. Do not skip this ad, it's very important to the channel. Guys, go to metapcs.com to configure a PC with the new Intel Arc Battle Mage card. We've got them in white, we've got them in black, we've got them in purple and pink, right? Yeah. We don't, just black and white, but that's all you really need, right? Configure your PC the way that you want it, baby. What do you want to do with your PC, huh? You want it to look like, uh, you want it to look like, uh, 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 this is the worst ad we've ever cut. Let's take this serious. We build high quality systems, guys, at metapcs.com, custom builds, ready to ship builds. What does ready to ship mean, Tanner? Ready to ship. Great job. Last week, we discussed the first little tiny morsels of a leak for the Radeon 8000 cards, but this week it seems like we have a release window. AMD has been mostly silent about new cards all year long, and it seems that they were silent because, now say it with me everyone, they were waiting for CES. This article on Tom's Hardware cover covers the entire thing. Power Color Radeon RX 8000 Reaper series rumored to debut at CES 2025 next month. Reaper is the coolest name for a graphics card ever. The Reaper series likely targets the budget mainstream segment and should slot in with Power Color's current offerings rather than replace any existing lineup. Power Color decided not to release any Red Dragon models for the RX 7000 series, but that lineup is expected to return 
with the RX 8000 GPUs in January, boys and girls. Me thinks CES is gonna be fun. I'm gonna be at CES. Did you guys know that? Where is this gonna slot in the power color cinematic universe? Well, I think it's gonna be a, a 5070 competitor. Do I think AMD has their drivers fixed? Yeah. <laughs> One second, producer Tanner has done what he does best by bringing the show to a grinding halt. He's taken the liberty of stopping the news for, what was that, Tanner? Meme. What's What's so important? Meme. Oh, you want to show us a meme, of course. Let's take a look. Dual Intel Arc B580 PC details shared. They will be used alongside an NVIDIA Titan XP for fast Fluid X 3D simulations. What? This is so interesting. This photo shows two arc cards and was it a titan interesting setup this is a reddit user project PhysX. he shared his pc build on the pc mastery subreddit so the system has battle station flare and the little intel guy i love this little space guy we love this guy comment what we should name am i doing a good job with engagement comment what we should name little intel guy so it's got a total of 32 gigs of vram nuts surprisingly only uses 800 watt psu for the build interesting that is cursed but it is cool. Did you see it? And there's just a million questions and yeah. it's a it's a it's a jam-packed setup, isn't it? Uh, chat, let us know if you want us to recreate this. Chat, should we do this? This guy's a doctor. Very smart. Ask me, uh, ask me about my credentials, Tanner. What are your credentials? I graduated from DeVoy. Oh, what's going on? What's happening? You have breaking 50, news? 90. What are you talking about? 5090 leak. There's a 5090 leak? Yes. Guys, breaking news. Tanner's interrupted the show yet again. Holy shit. You were right. Now, this is more in line with existing rumors and expectations than qualifying as earth shattering news, but an apparent leak on graphics card board maker Zotax web. I don't want to play a flashback here of when there was some uh, Zotac tomfoolery that we noticed when they booted up a graphics card in a, in a warehouse and everyone clapped and they said, no, 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 that's not a 50 series card. No, it couldn't be. Oh no, it couldn't be. The leak also confirms the branding of the full mid to upper tier lineup, including the aforementioned RTX 5090, the 5090D, which is a hobbled 5090 to meet the export restrictions from China, the RTX 5080, the RTX 5070 Ti, which we're gonna have some details on coming up here, so stay tuned for that, and the RTX 5070. The now deleted Zotac listings are the closest we've come to official confirmation for any of these graphics cards. If you're wondering, which I know you are, smash the like button if you're wondering. Anyone ever wonder? You ever have dreams? 21,760 CUDA cores. Wow. RTX 5080 is supposed to be 10,752 CUDA cores. The 5080 is supposed to be sticking at 16 gigs of VRAM. You guys will love that. Meanwhile, the 5070 Ti and 5070 are rumored to pack 80, 9, 60, and 6,400 CUDA cores respectively. It's gonna be crazy. The lower tier GPUs don't seem to be moving things on from a VRAM perspective versus the 40 series boards either, which we were kind of hoping 50 series, they would be like, you know what? Let's bump up the VRAM on these like uh, lower to mid tier cards. Let's, let's do the gamers a solid. I do think they're gonna put emphasis on GDDR7 at CES. Because you have to. NVIDIA has to do a lot of consumer education with this, a lot. Because you're already seeing with these leaks, people are being like, what in the VRAM is going on with these new cards? And so NVIDIA is going to have to bear the burden of explaining why they've decided to make the decisions that they've made in regards to not upping the amount of VRAM on entry to mid-level cards, which is explaining people how GDDR7 works compared to GDDR6X or whatever the f That's their burden to bear. I hope they make a very compelling case because I'm already seeing some people that aren't too pleased. Predictions, and I'm curious what you guys think, so let us know down below. For the 5060, I think it's gonna be 12. I'm gonna give NVIDIA the benefit of the doubt. I think they're gonna do the right thing. And as I'm saying that, I realize a massive mistake that I'm making. What do you think, Tanner? 5050 eight gigabyte. Tanner says, what is the 5050 eight gigabyte? GeForce RTX 5070 Ti reportedly features 16 gigs of GDDR7 memory. And, now this is big, GB203-300 GPU. After two weeks of silence, new information regarding the RTX 50 series is now reaching the media. Not the media. 
No, oh, dang it. Do we trust the media? No. Let us know in the comments. It's no secret that NVIDIA has already provided early data and samples to board partners who should switch to mass production shortly if they're to meet the demand next month, which they won't. The Blackwell Base 50 Series is going to debut in Q1. CES, baby. CES. Listen, get used to CES news. We're going to be talking about it non-freaking-stop. Last month, Copite, who is the notorious NVIDIA leaker, said that NVIDIA is planning to launch the 5070 Ti model at some point, and as always, with early details, you gotta be skeptical, boys and girls. But let's take a look at the rumors anyway, because why would you not talk about things that are not confirmed? I think 16 gigs of GDDR7 is excessive. Why not just do eight? <laughs> right, NVIDIA, NVIDIA's like, hey, great. Hey. hey, this guy, I like this guy. Jensen, if you're watching, you're doing too much, bud. Turn it down. Before you leave, I wanna bring on a special guest, as I typically do in these shows. This is my brother, Christopher. Um, guys, I usually don't like tease big things coming up, but I am gonna be going out of country just right after CES. I'm going to be getting my legs extended so that I'm as tall as Chris. I didn't get it in the family. Chris got all the tall jeans and I am four foot three. So we're gonna get some new legs installed and that should be a lot of fun, right? Yeah, I can't wait to be tall like my brother, Chris. See you next week.